Oh, hi. hi. Hey, guys. Hey, what's going Scotty on? Um, <laughs> hiding behind the bottles, guys. Happy Thursday. Happy Scotty Thursday. Thursday. Four Thursday. dummies minus one makes three dummies. One, two, three. We'll make it work. And you, and you online make it four. And you make it cheers, four. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Happy Thursday. Wow, what a week, man. Hmm. <sighs> Deep breath. It has been mm. a week. Let us scroll but the comments. We're uh, we're gonna have a good show tonight. We're yes, gonna we have are. some fun. Um, we've got some. I don't want to say cheap, but some lower. This is Andrew price approved. Price. I would say <laughs> Andrew approved. <laughs> Andrew approved scotch. Um, we're gonna have some fun with a blind here that we're, we're gonna mix up. But uh, before we get into, it, I want to see who we got on. We just came off the pre-show. Uh, I had some fun conversation. We were actually, we started talking scotch, obviously, and then we ended up talking about um, technology and where we've come. Uh, we we're all showing our age, probably. Um, but that was a good, fun, a good fun conversation, and it's yep. good to see Gerben on. Good morning to you, Gerb. But uh, obviously, Bob H. is there as well. Um, flying to a friend's wedding, says Steve. What was that about? Scroll up a little bit. North Carolina. Well, howdy. Cheers. Safe travels. Thank you. Be careful. Um, hope you have you. some good scotch at the wedding. Yep. See Trooper. All hail the monkey shoulder. Well, it's in here. Um, thought about the J-dubs, but we left mm -hmm. them out. J-dubs, walkers stick out, and the red's just a little below this anyway, so we we'll, left it We'll out talk there. more about that in a minute, but you're yep. right. It's it's the, the, it's the kind of deceiving that finding the best $30 whiskey, it's kind of like, yeah, but we're doing it based on these. So we'll talk more about right. that. Right, we'll get yep. into all that. Gene is on, Gene Osborne. Does anyone know where I can find a new Glenallochy 10 cast strength batch six? I have looked all around. I don't think I've seen it anywhere. <laughs> looked all around. Tell me what you mean by looked all around. Have you looked online? online? Because, because I think I'm... Story might have it. Oh, really? Yeah. Story. Yeah, well, there might be bottles here in, in Indianapolis. Um, I swear I saw, was it the Whiskey Barrel? Um, one of the online stores sent me sent an email out not too long ago, and I'm pretty sure that was it. So, um, yep. I know it's out there. Just keep looking. Um, so, who else? Whiskey Wa Wagoneer, Allen Cats, uh, Doers 15 could be in this. There's a bunch that, that you can pick from this. We for almost sure. put in a Doers, actually, but we, we'll talk about it again in a second about Francois. This. Francois. I love Thursday nights, too. Cheers. Whiskey That's Wagoneer, good. Naked Grouse. Yeah. So, we're going to start seeing a bunch of people talk about $30 scotches here. I, I know. We're going to get a bunch of pretty them. Pretty good. Hi, D. Donna Pass. Is the, Nick has to Anybody want to take a guess as to what aisle uh, Bobby J is in? I'm saying 13. Uh, 18. 18. Ooh, yeah, he, man, he, I was he, thinking 18. He's always in the higher aisle. I'm going to say 17 since you took 18, and I'm going on the Price is Right theory. No, yeah. he's, he's, they've I got like 50 lower. aisles there, so I'm going to be close. Should have said one. Should have said 19. <laughs> <laughs> Greg Lewis is on. Good to see you. He's having some Ben Rig 10. Man, it's been a while since I've had some Ben Rig. I got a couple Ben Rigs I bought a long mm -hmm. time ago that are just hidden in the bunker in the back in the shadows. I haven't opened them yet. Yeah. Trevor um, Lewis, so cheers. Mr. Wesley. Wesley and Mr. Girl you, were both there. Ooh, Kyle Walker, good evening. Just finished a bottle of Lag Distillers Edition. So interesting. Which which distillers edition? Uh, I've had a couple. <laughs> got one. He needs a cheaper rugged. option, though. But, um, I, yeah, you can't just say Lag Distillers Edition. We need to know what edition. Um, I wonder what's Because they are all different. Same but different. How we'll say that much. <laughs> hey, Michael Porter. Everwin. Brianne. That's kind of nice. Both of them together yeah. there. They're logging on together on their Thursday nights. I think I got scrolled it reminds there. me of another another couple that used to log on on Thursday nights. and They were the first ones to put us on their big screen TV. Yeah, I haven't seen them together in a while, but they're coming. We're going to say we are coming. coming. So um, it, that made us feel really special. Minion. Hey, Chuck. Colin Murray. Good to see you as well. Patreons there. Bobby yeah. J. <sighs> Boy, everyone wants to see that naked grouse. We'll talk about it, guys. We'll talk uh, about naked grouse. I drank on mine, I think. All right, let's get down to the bottom here. So, all right. Glenn Moten. Oh, so, so that's the, true too. Yeah, the, the intent of this was to see what you can find in a malt whiskey for 30 bucks. Minus this one. With so, yeah, this yeah. so, we so admittedly, we, we, we didn't have we don't have a bottle of naked grouse, which is probably the, the most comparable in this line from the, the grouse family. It's a, it's a good bottle. Really good. Minus, it's a good bottle. It sticks out like a sore thumb because it is a sherry. It's a sherry bomb. So that, that's kind of the reason this is a little bit modified. We're, we're not getting into the Johnny Walkers because those are very 
distinct and the reds and smoky. the blacks are going to be the black is going to be smoky the red's going to be a little more um acetone so and, and it's grainy. also going to be fair in our wheelhouse because we have always said monkey shoulder and this is what kind of started the conversation because last is. week we last right. week we did a review on this um, and yeah. we were surprised how good it was and we were like hey it's actually it's the same price range. So, yeah they, these are all in the 35 to 27 dollar range all of these so are. daniel you're right this one's the blend this is the 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 blended with with grain because this is a blend as well but you're right john gray i hope you're enjoying your monkey shoulder we'll talk about it a little bit but yeah so we've got a, a blended malt a, a two single malts and a blended scotch all in the 30 dollar range common common out there on liquor stores everywhere uh, and and i think the reason we do it too is flavor profiles should be somewhat similar right that's correct right so this shouldn't be there should naked be grouse would giveaway. stand out some johnny walkers would probably stand out and so we're trying to narrow it down to somewhat of a palette because what we're going to do here, guys, is we're going to. Oh, we got a Molly. What's going on? No, Bob, Bob H. Bob H. Thank you for the cheap Bob just bought us a bottle, a whole Bob bottle just, of whiskey. Thank you for that bottle. I'll go to Monkey Shoulder, the winner here. Thank you. Bob, I'm empty, but cheers. Mm -hmm. uh, do I have time to pour another one before we, we get into well. this? No, we got to get into this. All right, let's get into this. We're going to have a lot of discussion. After. We're going to have a lot of discussion on this, though, aren't you? I think so. So here's the ah, deal. Okay. We, we got we got these right. bottles are marked with yeah, glass that's, behind that's, that's them. So we're perfect. gonna pour them and then we're gonna do blind and turn around and kind of see what we come up with. And I think what we're gonna do is we're trying to guess which one is which, which one we like most, and just kind of go from there. And nothing nothing serious. Just gonna have some fun with it. I gotta clear that palette and go from there. Okay. Yep. So how are we into this? With these are all labeled on the bottom with. Stickers. I've not seen any. I've not stickers. seen them at all. I don't know what they are. Glasses are labeled with the stickers. So we just want to pour them, them pour this them, way. Pour so them right can... in there so they can see, it, and then we're just going to mix the glasses up because it won't make right. a difference. After. So this is monkey shoulder. I'm not going to look at the screen. You guys can see the color on the bottom. I'm assuming, which if not, I'm, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm do you want me to this. call it out? No, I'm kidding. Yeah, call. <laughs> tell me the color. What colors on the bottom of that bottle? Because I don't know what it is, and I'm not looking at the screen, so I'm going to do that. I'm pour, doing a pretty healthy pour because there's four of us drinking, or three of us drinking, and we have to. To see, know that it. Trying. So the next one is the Deanston Virgin Oak, which is one of my favorites. Actually, it's a really nice. So Eric nice waits bottle. in the show. Uh, Eric, I I agree with you. Yes, there are some great Irish whiskeys under thirty. There's some Correct. great Irish whiskeys way over thirty two. But um, and there's some great uh, bourbons for thirty two. So the thing is, what Scotch is harder to get for under thirty dollars, especially a malt Scotch, much more difficult. Okay, so, so now we need to. So we want to keep these in order. I guess it doesn't much it doesn't matter. matter. It doesn't matter because they're. So then we're going to move so these off the screen. bottom first. Okay. We don't even know what we got. In let's the talk lineup. through them. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So let's start from this end because this makes more sense. So this one is Monkey Shoulder, and this okay. is a blend of three different malts, and I don't forget which Kennedy, those are. Balvini, Kennedy, and Glenfiddich. Yes. And, it, and it's it's. Yeah. Okay, no. whatever so Kennedy. but either, it's, a, it's a blend of three malts all malt whiskey Kennedy. Kennedy, um, I think. we had a great experience with this we first tried this in new orleans with three or four yeah hours. i was yeah, missing you were that there. one and went through a bottle in 24 hours it's great inexpensive whiskey um drink it neat drink a little water put a rock on it whatever you want it's designed by the manufacturer for blending it's designed to put it into, into scotch cocktails so or i'm sorry mixing it's designed for mixing it's at under $30, it's worth it. A lot of um, bars and things will have this as their scotch on the bar. The next we have is Deanston Virgin Oak. This is a non aged shaman. So, all of these tonight are non aged shaman whiskeys, which pretty much you have to if it's under $30. I think those head to head are going to be tough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Deanston Virgin Oak, which is, I think uh, this is going to be a surprise, which is aged in virgin oak casks. So, it's theoretically light, non sherry whiskey. We'll see what happens. Both of uh, the price point. When I look at both of those bottles, I can think of over the last six years how many memories we've had of killing multiple of those bottles. Well, on, on, they, these are great for fishing trips because they're <laughs> inexpensive, and if it falls in the lake, eh, grab right. the next bottle because yeah. we got more than one. It's one of those things where it, it's and we've rated them both high. I mean, I, I don't actually remember doing the decent virgin oak, but I know we've taken that fishing trip, etc. Yeah, you can mix them Yeah, up. you can mix all that uh, up. But I can tell you that the Monkey Shoulder has been probably one of our original favorites for a few years now. Uh, for the price for, point. For the price point. Uh, bang for your buck and availability and what you're getting out of it. And it's always going to be one of the first ones I suggest to people saying, hey, I want to get in the scotch. It's a great entry level. Because you can't go wrong with the flavors and the price point, which then beg to differ all the rest of these. Because Virgin Oak actually is another great one. 
hell, we got it for 16 bucks at one point. Yeah, we had yeah. it. was on sale. It was so on sale. that's a great bottle for the price. And then when Moran G is coming out with the X, which is made for cocktails, but on its own last week, we were surprised. Yeah, so so we did a review yeah, did. Of, of X by Glenn Moran G last week. It's a new release in 2021. And it's it, they're, des they're essentially going at the uh, monkey shoulder market where they're designed to go into bars for mixing cocktails, mixing right. scotch cocktails. It comes with a little book that's got actual it does. recipes. In fact, there's recipes. We tried one last week with actually the scotch co scotch and tonic was really yeah, was good really with this with X, X last week. Um, and we did a live review on it. Did we post it this week? Or are we going to do that? We'll, po week. we'll post it next week. Um, with uh, just a live review individual with with only that, um, kind of discussing what, we, what our flavor, flavor profile was of it. So, Greg Lewis, you had a monkey shoulder in your hand, bought the Maker's Mark instead because you didn't have uh, weighted bourbon. Okay, I can yeah. respect that. Don't totally. don't be afraid to go back and pick the monkey shoulder up. But are yeah. you giving ABVs on these? I don't know. If you've uh, heard no, anybody. I did not. So, monkey shoulder is running at 43. Um, Dean said I think it's a 46. In the back, yeah, it's a 46. It's a 46.3% ABV. Glenn Moe is at 40, I believe. 40. And the Naked Grouse. Is, famous grouse, famous I'm grouse, sorry, 40. The famous grouse, is right? Not the naked so, grouse. so the Dingston is the highest, 46.3, yeah. 43, 40, 40, 40. Yeah. right? So, obviously, the famous grouse has got grain liquor in it, we understand that flavor profile should be similar, Somewhat price similar. point is similar. It's the only one that actually has grain. This is actually single, isn't it? Mm -hmm. This is single malt, this is single malt, this is blended malt. And the, and the interesting thing about this is that we don't know exactly what it is, other than Glenmorangie Orange is famous for starting with the, the Glenmorangie Orange Ten as their base foundation. We don't know. What well, they, the, they're here. starting with their their basic uh, Glenmo formula, their same same uh, distillate, same original bottling, but then they finish them in uh, heavily charred oak uh, virgin oak casks. So that's designed to add more vanillas and caramels in and to bring out some of the edginess of the young whiskey. So that's that's kind of what they're doing with that. So I'm excited. I think it's going to be interesting to show which one we might like better or, or you know. Or, Hang on or, a second. I, I'm curious to see if this uh, Glenmo is going to actually put some others in the running here. I got to show this. I live in the heart of Bourbon County. This channel turned me into a Scotch man. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. So lo lots of people I've talked oh, to sorry. Thank you. start with bourbon, and when they when they get exposed well to scotch with, with somebody that, that can kind of carry them through and, and work with them on scotch, the understanding of scotch being such a broader flavor profile than bourbons are allowed, I think really carries a lot of people over. And it doesn't hurt that you came with whiskey experience well, you've got experience drinking uh, whiskey really your palate's yep. already tuned to drinking stronger spirit and yep. you, you've got a palate right um Absolutely. so honestly there's another another person that's in the chat uh pierre and he came from a wine palate oh, wow. eric eric waits the same way came from a wine palate a very trained and you know in tuned palate from wine i think the transition into to scotch or whiskey is easy right you, you you're I'm More tuned, so you're cheating. So tell me before we get started. Did you mix these all up, or yeah, they're all. I don't even remember what. Order. Oh, they are mixed up. I have no idea up. what's what. That's good because yeah, I've been paying attention no to them. Yep. So here's the here's the gig. What are we doing? We're gonna we're gonna nose these. We're gonna taste these. We're gonna talk through them. Perceptions. Um, I don't know if we're gonna rank all four. Maybe at least say what our favorite well, is. Yeah, we'll pick our favorite. Um, and then are we gonna try to guess what's what? Yeah, too? might as well. Go an extra. Okay. Do we, do we, uh, I think we just keep it fairly simple and not be super serious and writing stuff down and just go through off the cuff. Yeah. So, so I, the, probably the, the most, well, we had the Glenmo last week, but I don't remember the flavor profile as much. No. And, and the last one, I, it's been months since I've had any of the, any of the rest of these. So it'll be interesting to see how this works out with a different palette. Yeah, so let's keep it mild. we'll start with yellow. Okay, so yellow. I'm I'm clearing my palate. I poured a little bit of that Edredor Caledonia because I was well. I didn't have anything in my hand, so I need some water. Clear my palate with some water. And so I'm gonna wait until this Caledonia clears off my palate. If you wanna, you know. All right. Okay. So we'll start with Andrew then. Mm, apples, caramels. It smells like scotch. <laughs> he said it it's smells sweet. like scotch. <laughs> it's not peated, which none of these are going to be peated, so they're not going to be in my wheelhouse, but we'll see what my, what my perspective is on. I don't want to hear that anymore. Wheelhouse, <laughs> come on. Anybody go now? Clayton. 
No, go on. Do you need to put that aside so you don't get I won't mess it up. It says scotch for dummies. <laughs> yeah, this is this is a little bit malty in the nose. There's there's apples and grapes, a little bit fruity. Yes. Yep. Get the car. Green apples, and fruity. Get so the car. so yellow, yellow is fruity. <clears throat> but I say when I, when I compare <laughs> I it, that when I compare it to blue, I think blue's got more apple, green apple on it. Okay, so yellow, right? Yellow. Yeah, light green apple. Very grapes. light. I mean, it's just uh, light all in general. Multi. I mean, well, they all are. I mean, they're all going to be light. In their, yeah, they're all going to be light in the nose. This they're all going to be light in the palate. And this one's even lighter. Wow. Yeah, it is. This, that, this that one's one, brighter, and it it smells like. Uh, I get a little. bit. It's almost feels like a green apple sucker a little bit. So blue, blue, you're saying is green apple sucker. I tend to agree with you on that. So yellow, I, I'm mm -hmm. gonna go off off the chart here. So I, I got it's light. I was gonna say a little lemony. I don't know if, if anyone's familiar with gooseberry. Um, gooseberry, yeah. Mm -hmm. Used to pick them with my great grandmother. Uh, what do you have there? So yellow, it is light on the nose. I mean, it's airy. So uh, maybe one of the lighter ABV ones. So I've got, I pulled up the red one, and the red I'm getting a lot of linen on. Definitely not the juicy, uh, you know, apple apples and pears. Blue, different nose, yeah, very different. Light, just linen and clean. Ooh, clean blue, laundry. softer. It's light as well, mm -hmm. so low ABV, but it's softer. So Pierre, I'll, creamy, uh, I'll, maltier. I'll answer that because I, I actually enjoyed it, um, but it still did not go do anything crazy for me. I thought it tasted like leathery um musky oloroso um but there wasn't a whole lot of flavor for it but but i have a little bit left i'm gonna have some after a while here but it still didn't like blow me away so what am i doing in here red i got a creamy note on blue whoa that's that's different yeah that's very different it's a different different very different nose this reminds me of like uh uh fake jam or something like Thanks, sweet man. artificial sweetener like, oh like, well, like uh to get vanilla like saccharin, on it, yellow. Like, saccharin like like strawberry saccharin you know what i mean with strawberry jam or something like that yeah so like it's got, got like it's got like a chemical yeah i guess you know, i got linen and you know kind of like fake sweetener fabric or you know laundry as opposed to like the juiciness or sweetness of these yeah that's interesting it's, which one is this red it's yeah red. so red no i would say green now maybe it's just because i was it, it is red the last one we've done no green first? is the last one okay green is number four and it is really like fresh tart apple i mean it is like sucking on a jolly ranch we've got dead. three, three red apple flavored <laughs> noses and red is red is dead red, red is red is um yeah it's dead it's much tamer on oh, i got nothing man this is like blueberry pancakes from pulp fiction man that's dead baby i don't yeah, this this so okay so uh, i know All this right. is going to get very complicated for those following along so i i, I so let's just well, we haven't tasted anything we haven't I tasted taste green i want to talk through these a little bit so so we've got a light fruit on yellow we've got a, a richer fruit i'm gonna say i started getting apple. vanilla and malt on okay. yellow on i could my see, second totally note. see that and then blue has more more juicy apple and things on it um, did you get creaminess with it? Yes, with yeah, with yes. Zed's Ooh, yeah, dead. Get, see, I'm getting totally. I'm getting like bourbon oak vanilla. Green it, is it, nice. Green is yellow. Green is like fresh green apple it with is. with a bit with a bit of uh, honey and something else. I can't place it right now, but it's it's, it's pleasant. Yeah, it's, it's really it fresh, fruity, and appley. I mean, I just I smell like a Granny Smith. No, well, not that tart. I get more caramel. What? That's a COVID nose. Yeah, I got nose. caramel too. It's a COVID nose. He said. Oh, well, this has. Wait, what are you like? What are you smelling? This has a coconut to it now. What is it? Blue. Blue is coconut. BB she. Hey BB. Uh, with the money I'm going to save on scotch, I feel like I ought to pay <laughs> something for it. Yeah. Thank you. All yeah. right. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to try to taste yellow. So yellow was it was fruity, but you got vanillas. I'm getting like I'm. Now I, I agree. I'm getting vanillas on it. I'm getting like oaky casks. My scotch for dummies glass that my wife made me. 
Okay. And that's tasty. So wait, this wait. is yellow? This is yellow. yellow. Okay. So I'm going to start with the nose again on yellow. So this is one we all agree it was kind of green apple. But, um, but but not as subtle. As, so. I'm getting more vanilla on it now. Now it's yeah, it's it's I agree. definitely the palate is um, sweet, tapioca-ish. Yeah, it, it I'm the finish is definitely vanilla. Tapioca is a good pull. I know my lips smell bad. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's light. It's a, it's a light nose. There's a um, a spicy peppery note on the end. Because it's not an alcohol burn. It's, there's a lot of sugar in that. <laughs> That's sweet. You think? I don't, I don't, think, I don't see that as, as sweet. Yeah, it's, really? it's like a vanilla sweet. Like vanilla custard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But like yeah, totally. ooh, even a long, long, That's long good. sweet flavor. That's good. I mean, it the, is the sweet. finish is really long. It's like a it's dessert really scotch. It is. It is. It is vanilla sweetness. It's it's, oh, it's like cream. vanilla caramel sweetness, like almost um, creme brulee, but not it's not but yes. really very lightly burned. It, it's, it's like it's like a, it is like a creme right, brulee. It's, creme brulee it's, so it's like it's like the last bite of a creme brulee. Like you're yeah. not getting that just much cream, yeah. cream, but just you know. Yeah, you're not getting that crusty top that's no. been that charred and burned. Right. You can't and wait to see what these are. All right, so let's head on to uh, blue. Taste the blue. Huh. That's pretty. Oh, yeah, so no, blue. I'm getting. I'm getting some distillate. You know, so I'm like new make nose on it, but there's like fruitness in in that. So, okay, here we go. Blue. What do you taste? What's your nose again? It's. Your... It's. I don't get no vanilla or, or, or sugar. It's. It's soft. It's hard to get a nose. Hmm. I get so, oak in there. I, there's a no. You can tell the oak influence. So on the palate, I can't get away from the, the new distillate in my mind. I gotta I gotta think beyond that. It, it, what does that mean, new distillate? So when I think of new distillate, I, I get very little barrel influence. I I, mm. I get um, some maltiness. Um, I Spot get on. Uh, Spot on. It's not a, it's not a quite a sour. So not, not enough maturity in the in, in I the barrel. I think that's what I'm getting from that. It's it's it tastes young. But it's not bad. There's no like acetone or, or off flavors that would that would pull no. you away from it. It's just a it's just a really light, the nose young, has some acetone. soft had, whiskey. It's not. It doesn't burn. It doesn't cut. It doesn't bite any of that. I'm gonna say weak barrels. I I mean I yeah. there's there's nothing in that. I, I, I'm not. That's not hitting me. I'd agree. That's probably weak barrels. It, or it's not. It's now that that may be by design. So some will say our distillate is so good. I don't need a heavy barrel. Influence, it's not. It's different. not bad, but it's got some bitterness to the end. Boo it's, blue. It's um. Boo blue. You don't like boo blue? No. Right. It is. It is. It is. It does taste like it's newer and and, and more bitter. It is. It's not a whole lot of flavor. It's Thank soft. So I next, next we're going on to green, which Briny. I thought smelled like linen. Linen. Mm -hmm. All right. Hmm. It's got a little bit more of a multi nose. I'll give you a linen pull. Dryer sheet, maybe. Dryer sheet? Yeah, that's a common. That's got a really nice maltiness to it. It's a well balanced whiskey, it's subtle. There's not a lot of flavor to it. I will say they're not punching for like a, a sherry. They're not punching for anything major on it. That's pretty good. And that's pretty, like a sucker. I think that one's pretty well balanced. The ABV is low on that. I get no alcohol burn on it. Heavier. Yeah, there's no spice or alcohol burn on the finish. I think there's a heavier concentration of malt. Is it more malty to you? It is more obviously malty to me. Well, I don't that know is a much better blend. I think so this one's definitely a little bit more put together. I would agree that that is that's balanced pretty well. And maybe it's not fair because we're tasting it after this one, which I really think is not well, quite. Well, it's balanced. I agree, but it's also nice to, to do that because you can refresh with this one because the, this is nice, sweet. This is not nearly as sweet, but it's more balanced, more malty. The green is not nearly yeah. All right, so red. All right, we're moving into red. Red. Interesting. Which originally I thought had the the greatest um, fruit fruit nose on it, but I'm not getting that now. I'm getting Cat nothing. Cat says Highland Park is hard to beat. Can't argue on that. We'll talk about what Highland Park. 
How about that? I wish they would get their marketing figured out. <laughs> so says everyone else. I know. Skull! <laughs> I'm sorry. So what do you have here? This is the red. Okay. What do you got there? Mm. Um, Not great. Not great. No. Um, so we, uh, when this we did is the one that smells a little bit. I thought when we did red, I originally got this like bright apple juiciness on it. I didn't get that after tasting these other whiskeys. And the palate wow. is not well as well done on this one as the others. It has, okay, it has almost like a, a bitter nose to it now. I mean, I'm not even I'll getting any here. fresh new make on it. I'm getting, I'm not, there's no. Right now, if I had to guess, that's the grouse. I yeah, not tasting that. I would have thought the third one was a grouse. I'm just one. saying that because I think the grain really jumps out of the glass on. I me. think he's spot on with that one. I think it's very grainy. Um, Even the aftertaste is kind of like this. Not only that, but then when when you actually swallow it, you're like, okay, it's obviously low ABV. This is 40. They're, they're, if you tell me that's more than 40, then I need to quit. And hey, that's cool. I I won't, but <laughs> I respect it. Um, I'm. I'm not going to say it's horrible. $30, right. right? These are $30 bottles, guys. All right. So let's go backwards this time okay. to change ch change your order of our palate. So let's do another sip on the red. Okay. He just did. Drew, do another sip on the red. All right. And then we'll go backwards and, and see if we pick up the same note. Because okay, no. the way you, the order that you taste whiskey will absolutely, the Absolutely. So I think it, it brought a lot more on the second sip on it back to back. It had a little bit more richness down the center of it. Brought a little bit more meat. Ah, not here. But <laughs> it's, it um, it's it's got this uh, almost sauerkraut quality to it. Sauerkraut, man, I love I know sauerkraut. You like sauerkraut. Damn. Damn. Yeah, see, that's the, that's the sour quality I get sometimes from a grain or from a a poorly cut um, distillate. It's 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 not good for me. I would maybe mix that, but. I would not drink that. Meat. I would not drink that with water. Oh, we didn't. Why are you watering? Do, we, do we need to water? Do you you want to water no, it down? I don't think not. Not this. All right, we'll start with the next one. Green. All right. Okay. So this so is green. What color? Green. green. So right crazy. now, red is dead. Red is dead. Red, red, red would be my least favorite at this point. The nose is is and candy. It's probably on the nose. Like my I mean, favorite. It's got gotcha. Maybe even gummy now. Gummy? Like mm -hmm. like bubble like gum? gum or something. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, but now you're getting into a whole other category. What kind of bubble gum, right? I mean, are we talking about are we talking about hubba bubba? We're talking about <laughs> double bubble. Talking uh, big league chew. Big league chew. <laughs> Good to have big I'm old big chew. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love it. I got malt. That's uh, that's pretty. That that's good. It's it is malty. So that was one that I thought was linen. It's right? a quick yeah. finish. It's subtle. There's there's. There's more to it than that now. It's pretty balanced, actually. All right, so we're, we're talking about green right now. It's hard going from this. <laughs> the nose is yeah. really much more rich than the other one. I think there's a spicy note to that. Mm -hmm. I think I think this has got Spanish oak influence in it somewhere. Um, oh, cause there's, be. there's a, a little bit of a slight spice yeah, on, on the end the of it. Pepper and, yeah, right. Yeah. And so where's that going to come from? Um, and, and I'm just going to guess that they're, they're using a, a Spanish oak cask. Mm. That is, that is a really good balance between distillate and some barrel influence. You know, they say 50% barrel at least, uh, I'd say it's a little bit less than that, but it's, mm. it's well done. I mean, the oh, okay. and creams and, and yeah, it's, that's well done. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, I'll, mm -hmm. that's, that's worth uh, consideration there. Yep. So you're talking the blue right now? Mm-hmm. All right, so blue. blue. If anybody's keeping track of line, please let us know. All right, so I said boo blue earlier. Give it a better blue chance. Blue. Come on, come on, baby. Boy, I'm getting that vanilla now. Oh, it's kicking in. Actually, it's, it's not vanilla. bad. It's not bad. Is it better than green? I don't know. <laughs> Now I'm starting to doubt things. So blue. It's got a little bit more flavor, maybe, but 
Right. I mean, so I, I, I have to say if, if blue has a, a more significant distillate kind of component, I like their distillate. Their distillate is really tasty. <laughs> You're absolutely right, Eric Wade, about that Conamara. I was the only one that would drink it over at Sean's bar. These guys are like, no. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's totally. <laughs> Conamara is terrible. That's I won't drink it again. It's like drinking lighter fluid. Oh, I don't know what it tastes like. Eric saying. said somebody Imagine. Chevron cast. <laughs> okay. So blue is it's a little bit higher ABV. You think so? God, it went the down blue? like freaking 20%. No. I am all over the place now. All right. When you start when you start doing these so quick, it's speed dramming. If I knew we were gonna speed dram, I would have wore that shirt. But I had to go old school Scotch horn, man. This is this is like OG. Soft casts on blue. I I it's still consistent with that. But not their new make is really tasty though. God, I gotta be honest, man. The noses are really starting to at least these they last three, they're in. really blending in. I you get you get your traditional vanilla. Mm -hmm. you, you get that oak influence. I I, I wouldn't be. I honestly, God, so I don't. I don't want that port at all. Uh, these three, I drink them. Any any three of them, and they're all pretty good. I would agree. None, none of them are like, oh, they're all good. Uh, all right. So the last one is the yellow, which I'm getting like virgin oak on it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm getting I'm getting rich oak nose on the on the on, I, know, that that oakiness, the wood coming through. All right, I'm I'm coming down. I'm coming. I'm narrowing it down, guys. I'm getting close on what I'm thinking. I got to go back to the center too to to finish this out. But there's not much left, so I got to save some just in case. It so the, the finish on on yellow is, I would say, is levels above the other two. On this one, yeah, it's just rich. That's my, that's my huckleberry. It's rich and flavorful, and it, you can sit there and, and chew on it for minutes after you drink it. I, that's going to be my favorite, I think, okay. by far. I think the yellow is my favorite. I know um, red is my least favorite. Yes. The other two, I don't know. Again. I'm coming close. Mm, that's pretty good, too. I know them that. You gotta leave some for me to do one yeah. final sip on. Have you guys decided? I got it. I think the yellow is almost a little too sweet, though. No. All right, I'm not ready yet. You guys go. All right, boy. So, I will say green and blue have a very neck and neck. This, this, is, this is higher. I think it's yeah. This one stands out. This one stands out. Yeah, maybe higher ABV. I think higher ABV too. <laughs> Okay, so I said boo blue earlier. Blue climbed the ranks. It, it, it came, it back, came up. back. It came, it came back. back. It did not tap out. It it really struggled. It stayed in there. It saved some for the sequel, like Rocky, and it fought its way back. I don't think it's enough to top um, yellow for me. My my yep. choice here is yellow, blue, gr so blue, green, and then oh. red. That's what I'm doing. You're going green. I'm going blue, yellow, yellow, blue, what green. What was here originally? Blue. I don't know. No, blue was in the middle before, right? What was here before? Huh? <laughs> I you think that was blue. I think that was blue before. Sniff them. Smell them. You, did you move the glasses? I did. I might, have, did. I might have flipped them. I might have flipped them. Oh, hell. My fault. Way so, ahead of you, Eric. I mean. <laughs> does anyone remember the rotation we had up here? No. I thought blue was here because you said boo, blue, and you went to green next. No, no stage. Blue, blue was there. That I've was had a couple of those good Kirklands, and um, Costco's pretty good. I don't remember. Um, I don't remember. I think blue was second. I'm not saying they can't go wrong, but so what do you what do you like? Think blue or green? Yeah. What do you like? Who cares what order they're in? What do you like, Drew? What do you well, like? Well, I, I don't. I mean, I think I'm um, green. I'm going green. Green was next to red. That's what I thought. Yes. Mm -hmm. yep. So that helps actually. Okay. So I think. Um, well, you go. If green was next to red, it's in the right order for me. Yeah, that's what you I, said. Yeah, I said boom, boom, boom. That's it. That's, you you mark, like the mark, order mark, you have. There. There. I'm All right, so I'm going to go with yellow, then green, then blue, then red. 
So we, we're so Mark and I flipped the centers. It was close. I think they're extremely similar. I would agree. I, I would mean, agree. Blue and green are. are probably a toss up. I would either way. You think long, you think wrong. You're right. I mean, so they say playing dominoes. I, I'm I'm with Andrew. All right, all right. So, oh, let's so I'm check. the odd man out. All right, so we've got yellow let's, is the first favorite. of all. Let's let's do this. So wait, wait. It has to be it's red. Red, red is a famous yes. grouse. Okay, yeah. so famous grouse that that stuck out. Maybe that they threw that oddball in there for fun, and it uh, didn't make it. So monkey shoulder is blue. Interesting. Blue, baby. Blue. Deanston virgin oak is yellow, yellow obviously. And Glen X by Glenmo is... This is the order Mark picked him in. Is green. Can you go wrong? No, you can't. Can you and, go wrong? You, you and I said this. Yes, we did say it. So and Glenn Dan Mo X, loves you for it. So I would say in a blind taste, <clears throat> when my favorites i would say glenmo x by glenmo goes above toe to toe oh definitely toe to toe definitely toe to toe i honestly to be completely fair these two are very similar very extreme they're really close i think i think one i mean that's that's why i got lost in translation here because i mean one maybe a little maltier i can't remember but i will say this Definitely sweeter than these two, and it had, it had it hit the spot for me tonight. That the, the oakiness that went into it is so it, it has a deeper flavor. So this flavor. this was original. This this is blue. Yeah. So we said, oh yeah, you said okay. blue. blue. <laughs> you said blue blue, blue, blue blue initially, right? And it came back. I'll be honest with you. I think for the if we're just talking price point, guys, if we're just gonna give me thirty five bucks and say go buy the best bottle you can get right now. Tonight, right now, this is the guy I'm buying. No doubt. This this guy brings the, the – This is a hit. Eight. Honestly, this, this all three of these are great, and I think you can't go wrong with any of them. Correct. Um, but this is a hidden gem, I think. I agree. Right now. I mean, you know, factor. like you said last year, it went on sale at, at Big Red Liquor. It's 16 bucks a bottle. I mean, I think we took a lunch break between him and I. We went up there. We bought like four or five bottles. <laughs> I mean, 16 bucks. Yeah, give yeah. me a bunch so, of it. So interesting. For me, Blue had – Oddly enough, so that was my, uh, I think it tastes like new make, which is a blended malt. Yeah. Now, which is, which is really interesting. I don't know if this helps. I mean, this has been open for a long time, too. It so has. I'm not sure that makes a huge difference, but. Now, in fairness, we threw the famous grouse in. That wasn't fair. We, 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 we knew it was a curveball throwing it in. And we wanted to put naked grouse in. Two reasons we didn't. Number one, the only naked grouse we have is what I've got left in a decanter down the street at my house, which Not really close, wouldn't have worked. Yeah. There's no bottle. Um, but number two, naked grouse would have stuck out like a sore thumb. They're not the same. It's flavor a sherry finished, matured. I mean, it's colors different. It tastes. It, it that would have been easy. Not to say that the famous grouse wasn't easy. I do think the green showed its color. No, oh, totally did. Totally. Well, it, it was good to have something a little bit different, just to make sure that our our, sure. our stuff is working. Yep. But I, I, I think that these three selections have been were a perfect combination. So these are for, really close for thirty bucks. All three of these are winners. All three of them, no doubt. For now, sure. is the Deanston going for thirty, or is it closer to? It may it board. may be a little higher now. I don't know. It just depends on your market. I mean, yeah. Let's say it's uh, even. Let's say it's thirty five. Last year, I got four bottles for sixteen. I think you. Can, I think you can get them pretty cheap. I mean, so, it's, it's a. They're all three good. Th this has um, been open for a while too. This is right. not a new. Now, and, a and in defense, let's talk about this. Both of these are actually made, produced, developed for mixing. These are made. I don't think that's the intent here. That's right. Deanston, yeah. it, they, they want you to drink this virgin oak the way it's in the bottle. These guys both say, hey, mix our shit. Right? Well, but this single malt, single malt, blended single malt, right? And so that's a difference as well. Blended malt. True. Yeah, yeah. Well, blended malt. Well, blended malt. Yeah, not blended single malt. But blended malt. But I've always been impressed with the malt that Monkey Shoulders put in. And it's not like they're putting a bunch of cheap, mm -hmm. you know. They, they no, it's, good I, stuff. it's it's interesting yeah. just to see how it all pans out. But you can definitely taste the malt. You can definitely taste oak influence on all three of them. 
I yeah, do see. think that the Deanston's 46 ABV stood out a little bit. I think it helped it. I, and, you know, I, yeah. we've always been fans of more whiskey in your whiskey. Yep. Um, although we appreciate the lower ABVs, um, I think it kind of helped it. I, I We just reviewed this live last week on last week's live, and, and you're going to produce that or uh, publish that, that video. But I got to say, for a new entry point for Glenmo, they hit out of the park. I think they, they really did. Really 40%, 43, and 46. And this one, honestly, guys, this was a toss up for me. I, mm -hmm. I had to go back and I, forth. I, I think if we had more time, we worked speed dramming, we probably could appreciate some of the, the, the minute differences between the two, but they're close enough quickly that it was hard to tell. Right. The only thing I would say that really stood out to me the biggest was I felt like this was a little bit more malty and, and sweeter. Yeah, the finish, the finish is much longer on the, the So yeah. the good news for Monkey Shoulder and Glenmo is they produce these things to be mixed. And we're talking about appreciating them neat. Yeah, they're, and, they're and good. They they're... can be appreciated neat. I mean, honestly, mm -hmm. yeah, you could pour me one of those two right now, and I'll finish it out and have a, a, a great time. Honestly, I think I would enjoy it neat more than a, a mixed drink because I'm not a mixed drink type of guy. But they're both um, they're both worthy. So for thirty bucks, go for it. Can't go wrong. Yep. I will say, side note, if you're just going to spend the money and you get the naked grouse or famous grouse, get the naked grouse. You don't like it better. <laughs> yeah, that's Sherry. fair. We, we, it would have been nice to have have had the. Uh, well, it would have. Stood up, so it's in my face. All right, so that that is our uh, quick malt scotches here. For Thirty you, bucks. Here's Andrew, you need a drink. Here you go. What is that? Oh yeah, that's Christ. that one for you. He poured it for you. It's famous cross. That's famous cross. That's a famous cross. <laughs> he says it down nope. side. <laughs> that's famous cross. Um, anyway, we missed a ton of comments. I know you guys are all having conversation on the side, and I hope you guys followed along. We yep. didn't lose you. Um, I'm curious to know, did it? end up the way you thought it was going to end up it's a little deceiving there's there's a lot of good 30 dollar bottles out there but i think if 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 you're asking us our opinion i think nine times out of ten one of us is going to say monkey shoulder and now i think we got two more bottles in our arsenal to talk about yeah so the question is the question is do i david said yes do i need to go find like inverhouse and the bottom shelf scotches no do, no do, what why no, no. Like do a do a well do a, seven minute amps. Well, I, I would agree. I would agree. So those bottom shelf scotches are not designed to be drunk like this. Well, they're designed to be in like um, you know, really heavily um, mixed cocktails. And you know well, what? I almost well, only not call it. Can Can Drew spin up a, a quick survey and ask the question? I, I who's drinking the bottom shelf CVS plastic handles? No, I'm I'm saying like Inverhouse. There's uh, Johnny Walker Red. There's other the other somewhere. scotches that are like uh, you saw. I mean, so menu or something. Tell me saw it, not the cheapest scotch in your region, and we'll put it on the list. Uh, I don't like that idea. I don't I mean, think I do saying, either. I'm I don't think it adds much value to this channel because we tend to go through, you know, exploring the flavors of a scotch with, with a heavily grain influenced um, bottom shelf whiskey. I don't think they're ever designed to be really <laughs> drunk neat. And so, well, it, there's a ton. Uh, Honestly, uh, I, I'll be honest. We had we had a liquor store that you know we frequented, and it, when it opened, they've been good to us. They they've um, I love the fact they have open bottles that you can sample, but their scotch selection has gone literally to hell, right? It's it's crap. It literally is all the bottom shelf handles that you're talking about, you know? And I, I go in there every oh, time yeah. I get a pizza from the pizza joint next door, I, I walk right. in and I got to look and I'm oh, so disappointed. It's like, and it's not just but, that store, it's all the stores. Right. It, well, it's, yeah, they're 60 some odd in the, in the state. I, um, oh, I can't. I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna grab those and review them on this channel because I don't I honestly don't know anybody that's gonna drink them and if they are they're so misguided you, that that's not scotch to me that really well is. It, I mean technically whiskey's whiskey to different people but sure to to what we want to do and appreciate with scotch is it's so much more and, and it's you, you look at I mean just look at our bars I mean. Obviously, it's not just collecting. You want to explore different flavors, get to understand the regions, get to understand the life 
flood of what is scotch. What can a people, cask people do? People can say the th same thing about bourbon, which they do, and same thing about rum and tequila if you want to. But for us, don't do the bomb stuff if you can afford it. Because th there is no so much more. finish or maturation. It's the cheapest barrel, the cheapest distillate, the cheapest yeah, ingredient. It's just, barrel. you know. And so that, so uh, Alejandro mentioned uh, Clan McGregor, which is one of those bottom ones that's terrible. Yeah. And and fair. That's totally interesting. Yeah, I think, and I probably shouldn't say this, but I mean, people aren't just buying that stuff just to drink it for taste. No, you're right. They're not drinking well, it for yeah, taste. Well, yeah, if you're buying on, on that level, you're not drinking it for taste. And unless, I mean, there are your one offs. I know somebody that drinks a beer that I just can't stomach. That's okay. Sometimes. And, and that's okay. his Huckleberry, man. That's his, he loves the heck out of it. Love that guy, too. You know how to talk about if you're there. <laughs> <laughs> not the bush line. Not the dirty 30. That's the first person I thought of. <laughs> well, that's not about the guy who drinks a so, steak in a can. <laughs> I know that guy, too. Um, but, but, you know, it, it, it's interesting. I think that, you know, to, to talk about three bottles, really four bottles that are, are, that are commonly out there, you know, and people are ever question it, hopefully that's helped a little bit. Yep. That's intent. Yeah. So um, amongst the comments, uh, I saw that uh, oh, okay. Sunday evening noticed that Drew did kill a zebra. I did. It's the one that he uh, suggested I buy about two years ago, and I have been nursing it. So oh, you killed it's, the cat, honey. It's, it's sitting on the yeah. It's been sitting on my bar for a while. So yeah, Sunday evening scotch. Drew bought this bottle on your recommendation, and uh, the the bottle just got killed. So this is the thing that Scotch has, and I would agree with uh, Sunday evening Scotch on this. You can get many bourbons much less expensive than you can find Scotches. And so if you're drinking to get drunk, whiskeys, general whiskey, American whiskeys, bourbons, you can get a lot less expensive than you can Scotch. Yeah. Well, and you I can mean, actually get better bourbons for the same price as you can Scotches, assuming they're not allocated. That's true. Right. I, I, I was talking to your wife earlier before the show tonight. She was telling me about things she's seeing on, on social media, TikTok and whatnot, about what, what people are doing to drink and what they're drinking. And I'm like, well, they're oh, not. The, the baking soda yeah, stuff? Yeah, there's not even any enjoyment in this in this. What's alcohol. the point? Well, you're, you're literally just drinking Taking to away get everything. drunk. You're, or, or, I mean, might as well eat a gummy bear filled with THC. Or, I, I, you're not in... in this is really way more. I made a comment. I responded to some comments on our show tonight on, on videos. And someone was talking about nosing a whiskey. Well, and I was like, I've nosed a scotch for far longer than I care to admit. I, there's been several <laughs> times where <laughs> I've poured something and I've just been like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Right? 45 minutes have gone by and I haven't even put it to my lips yet. And it, it, that's what that's Scott. You, it's an enjoyment. It's it's you, you forty five minutes. You're, you're just getting it? letting that thing open up in air and yeah, doing this. And, and it. there's a, a it's a journey for every glass. Whereas if you're filling your white claw with tequila after you've drinking it and then putting baking soda so you don't taste the tequila, I don't think you're in the right market to be buying. Have you scotch. seen that yet? I, that's, that's the new phase. I, I don't know baking soda to hide the tequila. It doesn't taste, I guess it tastes like water. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. So, the same thing around. with the, the, it, the plastic cans. I mean, it, it's almost like eating foods. Like, uh, listen, I've only, I've been growing up on, you know, uh, baked potatoes and crackers. That's all I've ever had. Hey, what's this steak dinner? What's all this stuff? What's all these flavors? You know, and sometimes you have to appreciate things to get more flavors or cook. When, like my son, you know, like he was picky. But now he's learned to cook and he right. appreciates a lot more about food. So, it's right. kind of the and same idea. Flavors, like, right. Appreciate things the more you get into them. So are you talking about the JTS Brown, just bring the bottle, I don't need a glass? Is that what you're saying there? Dude, Wild Turkey 101 is legit. It is legit. You really like that. Dude, you you, you mix that in a, a Coke or mix that in an old-fashioned. The rye power of uh, rye. Right. That's Wild a plastic handle, right? No, it's No, it's, it's, gla it's a glass That's, handle. Yeah, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a glass handle. I'm I'm granted, just, I just assume granted, everything you buy is granted, plastic. You can, you can get a, a handle of Wild Turkey 101 for under four. Forty dollars, and it'll so, knock you in the dirt. And but the flavor is there. That rye shows up. That's right, Mike. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. I, I made a reference to a no. movie. He got Court, it. He does at least once a show. If you he got, I've out. made a couple tonight, and and people are catching that I'm watching their their comments. Mm -hmm. I just watched that not too long ago, Mike. By the way, just because I haven't seen it in so many years, so it was good to just sit down and muscle through it. Good movie. Yeah. 
Uh, where is he? Um, there are a bunch of value single malts like Loch Lomond, Glen Mora, Speyburn, Jura, and I think that would be a good. Yeah, I think you're right. Mm, that's true. I mean, they're not they're not thirty dollar single malts, but no, they might get into the forty forty five dollar range. Yeah. Yeah, but you're you're right, and and we you know early on in our channel we spent a lot of time with Glenmoros. I mean, and, honestly, and Jura. we did, and Jura. Yeah, you're absolutely right. We we got yeah, Bob in there. We haven't even opened it. We went through the Glenmora and and Jura lineups, and actually had some really good guests and fun shows yeah. with their ambassadors. Yeah. And and to the point where it made me want to go to that damn island. You know, because I, yeah. I mean, there's more the, the, island, there's more deer, deer on that, that there island. People. There are people right. I mean, right. But um. You know they they've just gone they've gone quiet. I remember the last we spoke about Jura, they were going through sort of I don't want to say a rebranding, but a remarketing. They redid their lineup, yeah. and um it's and been it's been while, quiet but... now. Mind you, we've had this whole COVID, and life has kind of changed, so we haven't touched base COVID in a long and, time. And, um, U.S. tariffs, yeah, right? Really right, which the U.S. tariffs. The only thing it really helped was the blended market, right? I mean, yep. Yeah, we haven't. I honestly, I got to be truthful with, with everybody on I haven't gone to look to see what's the status on that. I, I have no idea what's what because it goes, the, the tariffs are paused. For, yeah, they're paused. Yeah. For I honestly expected the prices to go up because of the tariffs, and then never come back down. Regardless of tariffs, they, they're never coming back. They're not down. coming back down. Now we're also going to see a little bit of a price hike in the U.S. because the U.S. can start. Putting 70 CL bottles on the shelf. So you won't see yeah. a price difference. Price will stay the same. Bottle will get a wee bit smaller. You see it in everything else in the grocery store on your you shelf, know, right? Pretzels and chips and, and, chips <laughs> right, right. and crackers happens. and all that kind of thing. We get that. But I, I haven't noticed yet. And I'm not going to say that I haven't really paid attention because I, I haven't. So I do need to start seeing. I, I'm very curious to find Because you don't buy 70. bottles from the shelf. No, you I buy them that. online. No, but I, I would like to see and start paying attention that. to see if I see a 70 CL bottle on the shelf. I don't know. Have you guys seen a 70 CL bottle on the shelf? I'm really curious. To know. Anybody in the U.S. have seen one? Nope. That, to me, that's, that's yeah. the start. Yeah. yeah. Hey, listen, we got uh, about seven minutes left. Well, well, well. What's, what's coming on in, um, in a few months, gentlemen? Well, what are we? What is the date? September. So we've been at this for, week. is it? Six years? Actually, is it six or it's six years, right? It's six years. In yeah. October? Yep. So we were supposed to do a five-year anniversary celebration last year. Well, we were in the heart of COVID and everything was shut down. We didn't do that. But this year, not everything is shut down. So It's on. It's on. It's on. Six we're doing year celebration. It. So it's going to be November 12th to 13th. 13th. Right, uh, we've got things lined up. Our patrons know about it. They've already booked some rooms. Uh, we were going to make a, a, a post hopefully this weekend if we can get everything figured out. We got a couple of minor details. Yeah, that we're, we're we're sorting out. Yep. Uh, but we do know we can go ahead and say that there's going to be dinner. Yeah, we'll have a dinner Friday night that'll include four course meal paired with scotches plus a Rob Roy as a as a. Some fantastic welcoming in. Some, some fantastic. fantastic. So fantastic. the scot the scotch is all top shelf, and the the dessert scotch yeah, is surprise. something you cannot it's epic imagine. And it's Can all it's all going to be under one hundred and thirty dollars for the whole dinner, including the scotch. So there's a there's a value there. The scotch itself is worth that probably yeah half the price of the ticket at least, at it, least. Uh, honestly the the dessert scotch if you just wanted to buy a dram of it at a bar you would pay more than the, the, ticket, price. Yes. the entire ticket price yeah. Yeah. and on saturday we're going to hang out we're going to have a, a live stream that's going to go for hours and hours we're going to have some uh some whiskey uh some non-dummies in to give additional um depth to discussions and we'll have some lunch catered in. We're going to have a great time hanging out with people from all over the country, all over the world coming in for this event. Like YouTuber, Scott to the Bayou. Oh, my God. Hello. No, there's yeah. some, we've got some ambassadors coming in. Um, it, it's good. There's, there's going to be a lot of different, whether it's a, a formal tasting from someone like that. Uh, the day all day at the hotel is just going to be 
kind of a relaxed free for all. Everyone's going to bring bottles. Everyone that shows up shows up with something they want to share. Yep. I know all of us are going to be showing up with stuff we want to share. Um, it will be catered at the hotel um, for lunch. Uh, so lunch we'll, we'll have a good lunch. Yep. Um, dinner at the hotel that Saturday night is probably going to be a crazy Uber Eats pizza, pizza delivery. Yeah, dinner, dinner's going to be different because we're going to do some carbs to soak up some yeah. of that. There might be some alcohol. It's going to be a long day of, of just shenanigans and having some fun. I've heard dart throwing potentially. Yeah, someone wants to Who knows? Get a couple. But we're going to have a lot of fun, and, and we're going to celebrate. We're going to celebrate Eric, six years to get there. of doing this. Yeah, so that, that's the beat of this. It's, you know, the hotel we've got booked is on um, – it's what? Hilton Garden in Northwest. Um, you can get We've got a block rooms there. We got a good price on those rooms and you know friday the 12th and saturday the 13th you got to be so there. If, if you're interested go ahead November. and email us at scotch for dummies uh, at gmail.com we'll try and get you some information and you know if you need some some uh, sooner sooner and later yeah but we do have a marketing but we got a marketing out, announcement coming up try that i want your impressions on that whether we're still on or not but um and another thing i don't want to i don't want to skip on is uh I, for those SMWS members that are out there, um, for those of you who are not, let this be an announcement to you. But Can next you week, the SMWS has um, their annual event called The Gathering. It's sort of a celebration of their anniversary, if you will. Um, big, huge week for the SMWS. Uh, and every day next week, they're going to have some things going on in their channel. And I don't know. I know I'll be watching maybe more than that but it, check it out it's going to be worth the watch they've got some very interesting guests i mean really very interesting some guests. really cool now, guests no honestly they do have some cool guests I'm, I'm actually psyched about watching some of these shows um but i wanted to plug that for them because uh, i think it's got a big week for them and if you're a member you're definitely in the know and i hope to see you on those chats um and if you're not a member check it out because it's worth checking out but anyway um what else, guys? I think that's Fun website. Little. Website is down technically still, but it's getting website. put up website. very, very, very soon. Um, we got a whole new redesign. Krista is kicking some major butt. Um, so look for the website that will be launched here probably the next week, I, I would assume. Um, if, you, if you're interested in anything, it's uh, you can't wait. Just email us at scottsfordummies at gmail.com. Uh, but look for that to come up. That's something We will forward the information to you, and, and you, you need to be there. It's going to be fun. Even if, you know, it's going to be fun. Yep. And it's Absolutely. going to be good to see everybody in person and yep. share some whiskey because as Aquavite says, it's not whiskey until it's shared. I think that's a good ender right there. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Love Cheers, everybody. everybody. Watch you guys. Take care. Three, two, one.